okay now we are here again for the question time now friends we have discussed about the series questions now it's time to discuss about the data frame as you all know data frame is also a data structure let me again revise it to you data frame is like a two dimensional array with heterogeneous data heterogeneous data means different kind of data at different uh, places in a single uh, clubbing so size is mutable data is mutable we can mute the size or we can change the size we can change the data also so let let me move to the questions okay this is the first question of data frame consider the following code to create two data frames with similar values okay what will be printed by the code given below now friends first look at the code very carefully i will read out for you df1 is equal to pd dot capital d data capital f frame 1 2 3 df2 pd dot data frame 1 2 3 now here if you will have a look then there is a single braces in the first statement and there are two big braces or cap, uh, bada braces jo hai, wo do bar hai, big braces in the second one so what it means there is a single list and it has made a list within the list so there might be two uh, a little bit of difference between the both as the df1 will give you uh, the normal vertical data and the df2 will give you horizontally now let us study what it says the reason being that the first data frame is created with a one dimensional array list hence all its values are taken as new row for df1 look at it this is df1 now this is row 1 this is row 2 this is row 3 now um, and only one column is created that is df1 okay now df2 is created with a 2d list it is a 2D list, list within the list. So we have created a matrix of rows and columns. So data frame DF2 is created with a 2D list where inner list contains values 1, 2, 3. Since inner list form the column values, the three columns are formed from three values of inner list. It means it will be three columns, index will be in column and values according to them. This can be thought as a transpose of a matrix which we have studied in mathematics so we are doing a kind of transpose here now again df1 look at this thing one two three one two three so there's a huge difference between the both that is a two dimensional list and that is a one dimensional list means it will act as 2d array and it will act as 1d array so answer is very much clear look at the figures look this is every single element is taken as a row with this index so 0 is 1 1 is 2 there is no column name so we have put 0 now 2 is 2 here again now in df2 what we have done we have taken two uh, two dimensional matrix or two dimensional list which means it will be different columns for different indexes or different column for different values so 0 is for column name it is 0 it is 1 it is 2 these are the red are the index values and 1 2 3 are the elements now let me move to the next question how does data frame object specify indexes how does data frame object specify indexes remember indexes 0 1 2 3 4 to it data rows if the indexes are not specified with data frame then these are generated from the input data means by default which is 0 1 2 3 4 for example from the keys of dictionaries or by using np dot arrange in the case of row labels friends it means we can create a data frame using five methods as we have already studied that we can create we can study a data frame using five methods let me take out this list dictionary series numpy and the data frame series list numpy and the data frame now let me move again to the question now it is asking uh, how does data frame object specify indexes to its data rows ki usko specify kaise karta hai data rows ko uh, by default if the indexes are not specified then it will take um, by default input that is 0 1 2 3 4 and it's if it's dictionary then the keys are taken as the indexes or if we give the labels then labels are taken as indexes so it depends on the method through which we are creating a data frame for example if we are not 
through the list and the indexes are not there. So we will write 0, 1, 2, 3. Now let me move to the next question. Okay. Now given two data frames df3 and df4. Now friends we have been given two output sets and we have to answer them. Now uh, in data frame 3 we are having input as 127 out uh, like that A, 100, B, 200, C. These are the labels. These are the columns and these are the values in 128 DF4. Both these data frames store integer values but when they are added means we have added two data frames DF3 plus DF4. The values in the resultant object automatically change to floating. Right? Look at this third diagram. Already changed to automatically change to float value. Contrary to the fact that two integers when added will result in the integer only. This is the fact that we can end integers. The answer will be integer. Now the reason behind the conversion of uh, this integer type to floating type is to is that when two data frames having different indexes and columns are added for known matching rows and columns it will uh, add NAN. Now uh, students I have already told you what is NAN? NAN means not a number means there is no value corresponding to that. So that value is by default non-integer value that is float value. So whole of the concept is taken to the float value. Now Python stores as non-integer suitable data type thus the moment NAN is added thus the moment NAN is added or present in any column the data type of the entire column is change so it will be converted to float thus all the values are represented as floating point values because of the presence of this not a uh, number value in the column because of this not a number value in the column just look at this diagram if we will have a look at this diagram i have added both the data frames this will pick like 1000 plus 100 1100 now always remember that element at the particular positions will be added to the elements at the particular positions it means if the element at the uh, place 0 or a will be added to the element at the place a now element uh, at the place b should be added to the element at the place b so here i can match 11 1000 uh, plus 100 1100 2200 4400 5500 now friends for non matching columns like c is there and there is no c we have entered and here two number row is there there is no two number row so we have entered or it's taken nan here now nan means not a number i have already told you so friends let me again take you this question uh, we have read that there is an impact of 1d array and 2d array while we are dealing with the outputs if it is only 1d array has defined uh, my data frame then uh, values will be each element should be its own row and if the values are taken within the list means it has two dimensional structure then each element has its own column as shown in figure this uh, and df1 is this df2 is this now second question we have studied what is the importance of indexes indexes are important as and how they will take by default it will be taken as 0, 1, 2, 3 according to the memory locations and if we have defined through the dictionary then dictionary are having its key values which are several known as which are several known as the labels or the indexing or if we have done the labels then labels will be taken as the index values and the third and the last question which is very much important then however we have added integer values but the answer is our float value this is because of the fact that two different values that two different value, uh, data frames we have taken of different indexes and columns so in place where extra column or additional column is there we have to write nan which is not a number and which is a value of uh, as compared to null that it is null not a number so the nan will be written where the values are not there and nan is a non integer decimal non integer decimal type value we can say it's fractional value so whole of the question gets converted means the addition now gets converted to the floating point value only okay this is as simple as we have studied now these are 
the basic concepts of series and data frames thank you thank you very much